Okay, so that's it for uh, dimensional analysis. Let's just do a quick um, thing on unit conversion. What this is useful for is what happens if you don't, if you're not given uh, your units in the units you want to do. So, for instance, uh, what if you're trying to do a problem on velocity, and I give you something that says, you know, I'm driving 60, you know, miles per hour, um, which is a common, a common, uh, uh, you know, speed unit that we use in, in here in the U.S. Um, where again, that's just miles divided by hour. That's what miles per hour means. Um, so. What, one thing we might be interested in is, well, what's a uh, mile per hour in our standard unit of meters per second? We can do this. Uh, the way we do this is first we get our 60 miles divided by one hour. That's, that's our unit, 60 miles per hour. Um, and then what we're going to try to do is convert both these. Now, I only do one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and do the, the miles first. Uh, it turns out that they're 1609 meters in a mile. This is one thing where Google is really useful, actually. Um, and you notice I've put this in a way so that I have miles up at the top here and miles down here. Um, that, that, that's so that they can cancel out. So we can actually cancel out the units just like we would if we had a two up there and a two down there. So basically we can cancel out miles and miles. Um, and so now we have uh, the number of meters per hour if we just multiply everything out. Um, I now want to, I have things in meters, I want to convert to, to the hours to seconds because our, our standard units are meters and seconds. Um, it turns out that uh, there's uh, there's one that, that there's 3600 seconds in an hour. And I want to show you me doing something incorrectly. Uh, I could, for, for instance, put 3600 seconds per hour, all right, and think that maybe that's right. But if you notice here, um, I have uh, I have a an hour down here and an hour down here on this side. I can't actually cancel those out because they're both on the bottom. I need them on the top and the bottom. And so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, okay? And now instead I'll put one hour is 3,600 seconds. You see, I've just reversed those, so now I can cancel out my hours. And now I have the only units I have left are meters and seconds. So I've gone from 60 miles per hour to what now, if I finish, if I multiply it all out, will be meters per second. Um, and all I do is I just multiply across. So I do 60 times 1609 on the top. Oops, sorry. Um, and I do, uh, why is that staying red? Okay, there we go. And I do one times 3600 on the bottom. So I get, uh, you know, 60 times 1609 meters divided by 3600 seconds and if I multiply that all out I get that um, this is 26.8 um, meters per second or approximately 27 meters per second you notice that 27 is about, you know, it's really approximately, I'll do that way, 30 meters per second. All right, they're about the same. Um, this is a really good rule of thumb, which is that uh, meters per second is about half of miles per hour. So if I'm going 60 miles per hour, I'm going approximately 30 meters per second. That's the kind of quick conversion that I always use uh, to, um, to, to keep it straight. Um, the last thing I want to do is just look at a slightly more complicated thing. Um, let's look at uh, finally one question of um, how many cubic meters, uh, so a cubic meter is a volume, um, are in a liter, all right, which is, which is another metric uh, unit of volume, but not the standard unit. Um, so first of all, I, I want to point out that uh, um, 
to do that, we have to know a, an approximate conversion from liters to meter. I don't know that off the top of my head. If I did, I could just do it. Uh, but I do know um, that uh, that one liter is a, equal to a thousand milliliters. All right, that's that's the definition of what a milliliter is. Um, and it turns out that a milliliter is the same. Uh, uh, let me let me do it a different way. Let's say a, a milliliter. is the same as a centimeter cubed. Okay, so with that information, we should be able to convert from a liter into a cubic meter. Um, so let's go ahead and look at it. Um, we have uh, one liter. Okay. Now, again, what I'm always doing is I'm always doing, um, I'm always multiplying by one. So every single one of these factors should be one. And so this should basically be equivalent. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. Okay, those are the same. And so that'll, those will cancel out. Okay. And I also have right there that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. So that was pretty straightforward. That was very similar to what we did in the last one. Now th here comes the hard part. One thing that you, you now need to do is convert from a centimeter cubed to a meter cubed. Now we know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, but we're gonna have to deal with this, this cube right here. And this is how we're gonna do it. So um, let's pu put this factor in here. So we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter, but we need those cubes. So we're just going to actually cube the whole thing. Okay. Um, and when you do that, what you're going to get is that this is, um, I'll just do it down here. This is one meter cubed. Of course, that's just multiplying this. We just go down here and this bottom part is 100, but the 100 is also cubed. So we get 100 times 100 times 100, that's 10 to the sixth, or a million centimeters cubed. And so if we multiply all of that out, so I'm gonna go ahead, and, so if we multiply all that out, let's just uh, bring the rest of these down. So we have one liter. Um, I'm gonna write this as 10 to the third milliliters per liter one centimeter cubed for one milliliter. And now you see we've got the centimeter cubes are canceling out, the milliliters are canceling out, the liters are canceling out, everything's canceling out. We have 10 to the third on the bottom, 10 to the six, or 10 to the third on top, 10 to the six on the bottom. That gives you a 10 to the minus three. And so you find out that um, one liter, which is what we start out with, is actually equal to 10 to the minus three cubic meters, or it's equal to a milli cubic meter, although we never really say it that way. So that's how we get this. So we, this is basically, a, or the other way to think about this, is it takes a thousand liters to equal one cubic meter. All right, that was a quick, couple, a quick video on dimensional analysis and unit conversion. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, found it useful.